Hi guys, my name is Prateek Singh and welcome to my YouTube channel. I have been writing on PowerShell automation, cloud computing and Python scripting for a couple of years now. On my website readycurious.com, which you can see on your screen right now. I am also in process of writing a book called PowerShell Guide to Python, which is basically a comparative approach to learn two scripting languages at once efficiently. Please go give the website and the book a shot, you may love it. Alright, so today in this video we are going to discuss about how to copy file from your Windows 10 machine to Windows subsystem for Linux. First thing first, before you can even begin, you have to understand where all Linux files are placed in your Windows 10 machine. So all your files are placed in your user profile. So I'll go ahead and hit Windows Run. And under your user profile folder, I'll navigate to App Data, Local and Packages folder. Here you can find your Linux distribution package. So for my case, I'm using Ubuntu. And this is the folder for Ubuntu package, which is Canonical Group Limited Ubuntu Windows. So I'll go ahead and double click on this, which will open a lot of folders for me. I'll navigate to local state and the root FS folder, which is nothing but the local file share for that Windows subsystem for Linux on your machine. Here, if I navigate to home folder, then to Prateek, then you can see all files which are accessible to your profile in Windows subsystem for Linux. So let me just quickly launch this. Once this is up, just go ahead and run command ls here. Here you can see like all the files which are present here, like create key pair dot py and launch ec2 py, all these files are already present there, this Windows subsystem for Linux. So if I run present working directory, you will see under the home folder Prateek directory, you can find all these files locally on your Windows subsystem for Linux. There would be a couple of scenarios when you will want to copy files to your Linux profile. So let me just create a sample file here, which is nothing but a text file. So I'll name it file.txt and I will just enter some data in this. So this is a test file. I'll hit Ctrl S to save it and I'll close it. So what will happen if I just try to copy this file to my Linux profile folder? So I'll just paste this file here. Here you can see that this file has been placed under the home directory under the Prateek folder, which is my profile. Now in the Ubuntu shell on this Windows subsystem for Linux, if I hit LS, you still cannot see that file. In order to view this file, first of all, you have to close this and then reopen it. So once it is reopened, if I run LS here, you will see the file.exe is now present on this subsystem. Now let me just try to read the content of this file. So I'll do cat file.txt and it shows me error denied because the proper permissions are not set. So I'll just run chmod 600 for read and write permissions to file.txt. So now if I run cat file.txt, you will see the content of this file. All right. So there is another approach to copy files, which is if you run ls on your Windows subsystem for Linux in the bash shell, you'll see the all your locals file. If you run pwd, you'll see like this is your current directory under your profiles folder. But if I go to my root folder and now run ls, you will see that there is a mnt folder available here. This is nothing but all your local mount points. So if I go ahead and run ls on mnt folder, you will see a folder called C available here. This is nothing but your local C drive on your machine. So that means if I can go ahead and do something like this C data AWS, and if I run this, you will see all the folders inside your Windows, inside your Windows subsystem for Linux. So I'll just go ahead and create a new file here. So let's do something like echo. Hello world, and I'll just pipe this information to uh, this particular folder and name it like new file. Once I run this, you'll see that a uh, new file has been created on my local machine and has that text hello world inside it. All right, so I'll hit a arrow again and I'll just use cp command to target this new file, which is my source file. And I'll provide the destination folder as my home drive 
under my profiles folder. So I'll do home slash pregnant. So once I run this, and if you change your directory again to your home drive and run ls, you will see the new file here now. So that means I can do something like cat new file here and it will show me the text of that. So guys, I, I have just demonstrated you two ways to copy files between your Windows 10 machine to your Windows subsystem for Linux, which is in my case is Ubuntu. If you love my content, don't forget to send your support in form of likes and comments on this video. And please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, which is a motivation for me to create more such videos for you guys. Thank you for watching. See you next week. Bye.